Okay, first time I've heard one bit flats out in over a year and a half, almost two years. It's been in storage all this time. And look, some actual wombats. Yes, we've got hundreds of them here. It's just been in storage. It's collected a lot of wombats. They've been brooding. <laughs> These are just the straight modules. Each module's designed to suit the bookshelf railway, which is four foot long by, uh, by one foot wide, by one foot high, each module. And if I come over this way, see my shadow. Yep, there's the three straights, which form the original part of the bookshelf railway as well. And these ones were built in HO scale. The um, bookshelf railway is done in N scale. Up here is the extra modules. These ones back here are the sidings at the back. And one bit's been brooding like nothing else up back here. And you see all the one bits, some of them on the track, some of them next to the track. You can't buy these anywhere, but nature produces them quite easily. So we'll get all that cleaned off in a moment, I'll set this thing up. We had a bit of a cyclone through here as well. And wombats have been destroying everything that they can. More wombats. That's a goodness me. They've been breeding well. Also been getting into mining as well. Eh, bloody wombats. It will be flat after run a few trains over them. Ah, look, the wombats have been brewed down here and destroyed my shed and everything else. So, yeah, we shall set this back up again, see how it runs after about a year and a half, two years in storage. And the bird's eye van next to it, yeah. Well, wombat flats, now we've got, uh, all got it set up and mostly running. Oh, I think one of those wagons is hopping. That's what it's called, Hopper Wagon, Tim. No, it's acting like a dance with Charlie. And it hops on again. We'll hit the other point and hop on. Meanwhile, <laughs> all those radiators are going down. I'm just going. That's why. Right. Right. Yeah, that's the way. <laughs> came off. Something's happening here. I've got the rubber to try and stop. No, I can't stop it. For those who are interested in knowing, the underside of the layout is supported by ironing boards. The cheapest chips if you pick them up the council cleaner. And I'm using Cat 5E cable underneath for continuity of power. Even though it loops all the way around, 
today we've discovered we've had a bit of a snagging issue. But it's easily fixed up. So the Cat 5 E cable does a nice job. I'm just going to um, reattach this side over here a bit later. So yeah, there's the there awning go. board. Trying to emulate that speed These here. work out fantastic for adjustable height stands. You can work it at any height. And each one of these supports the section of the layout. There's hands on the controls, inside and outside lanes. And it supports quite nicely. Over the yard section. And all the joins are done using the Pico set track shorties. Uh, the grey foam underlay you see underneath it. And then they put the hatch of balance on this years ago. Wet weather during the winter and being stored outside under the, the yeah. back veranda. We had a lot of the A lot of this has come off. So yeah. So the train's just been stored for the time being. Signals do work at the moment. I've lost, lost power to them. A good one, Luke. I don't know. Try to get a bit out for you, Chief. Well, the plan of the foul was two of the main states, and the blue was on the blue window. I think it's a good one. Wagon left behind. Yeah, and I'll come to the right. Yeah, the white motor department is spent all their money on getting the two plates just to the end here. Oh yeah, well that's been a priority for the Uh, a bit later in the day, we've got a uh, L class just going through and an NR coming towards us. Let's get the camera in the right position here.